The GPU VRAM issue is not looking to stop anytime soon. And while this might look like a fault on GPU manufacturers, it is certainly just a part of the whole picture. Fortunately, at the moment, the problem related to low VRAM is only limited to a few titles. But as we progress more in having more intensive titles in the future, this issue is going to expand even further. And now, this VRAM problem has also reached the gaming consoles. And I'm not talking about some older ones like the PS4 and Xbox One, but the latest consoles that feature way better specs. Let's see who is the main culprit behind this problem, but before that, make sure to subscribe to never miss such updates in the future. Strangely, as reported by some users, the Xbox Series S console is getting short of enough GPU memory. As posted by a user on Reddit, his Series S console gave a memory error while running Borderlands 3. This particular error was clear as sun and detailed how the system is out of video memory and that the user should make sure that his video card has the minimum required memory. Apparently, popping up of this error doesn't seem to be right on a console for various reasons. However, this error was pretty much confirmed by multiple users in the comment section. According to some, this error occurs all the time with Borderlands 3 and they say that this is actually due to the game itself and not the console. However, some users have also reported to having the same error in multiple games like Mech Warrior 5, Remnant from the Ashes and even Multiverses. They say that not only Series S is suffering from the low memory problem, but Series X is also not an exception here. A possible explanation for this issue is supposedly the memory leakage, and most users blame it on the developers who didn't optimize the game properly to allow the game use the full system memory. The crazy thing is that even if it is developers fault, the Series S seems to be affected pretty much most of the time as it only has 10 GB of total system RAM where the games can utilize only 8 GB as 2 GB is reserved for the OS. Of course, game optimization for consoles is done much better than for PC, but it seems clear to me that the 10 GB memory on Series S is is definitely adding to this problem. One of the possible explanations is Microsoft's game development kit that it released last year which specifically addresses the memory management issue. Microsoft's dev team clearly stated that now the game developers can have hundreds of additional megabytes of memory that will give them control over it which will eventually help them improve in graphics performance in memory constraint conditions. So clearly Microsoft already knew the memory limitation the Series S was already having before and going further in time this will most likely increase with more demanding games. Of course, we also have to keep in mind that Series S is just a $300 console and that is already one of the best budget consoles out there. But the game developers can only do a little when the games are too much demanding. Don't get me wrong, I'm not defending the laziness of game developers, but to me this actually looks like a two-way problem where both game developers and the console hardware are likely the culprits for causing this issue. But honestly, I believe that the VRAM requirements are going insanely high and there is a real need that now developers should try to fit as many graphics details as they can to fit inside 8GB memory. Otherwise, two years down the line, every game would require a 16GB GPU for playing at 1080p resolution. Now, if you are waiting for some mainstream GPUs, then AMD is also waiting for its turn to launch its all-new RX 7600 GPU. As of now, there are a few leaks on the web that have confirmed the launch of this graphics card. As reported by video cards, they have received a picture of RX 7600 boxes from Sapphire. As can be seen clearly from the box, the card is going to feature 8GB of memory on a 128-bit bus. Inside the box, the card can be seen featuring a standard dual fan design with a custom backplate and a single 8-pin power connector. It is estimated that the RX 7600 is going to compete against the 4060, but the problem here is the pricing. Even though the company was looking absolutely confused about its price a few weeks ago, it is speculated that it is going to be priced at around $250, which I believe is a decent price for an 8GB card, but in case if it launches over $300, then it is going to be another failure because RX 6700 from the last generation costs as low as $280 in some retail stores and features more VRAM than the 7600. However, one good thing about the 7000 cards is their support for AV1 encoding, which is becoming the latest standard for streaming games. As per the latest press release by Blackmagic, DaVinci Resolve Studio for AMD users will now be supporting AV1 encoding. I hope that now streamers can take full benefit from these cards and at least for now, all three GPU manufacturers look pretty much equivalent in this area. It's time that AMD also plans to release more of its 7000 GPUs very soon and this video right here will give you the complete list of RDNA 3 GPUs that AMD has in its bucket for mainstream gamers. Lastly, hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more regular stories like this. Also turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.